Hey there everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kefir. Let's get lost again. Well, preferably not, but we are going to the Temple of Hod. Which, uh, strangely enough, has a fairly easy uh, flying stage. At least much, much easier than the, uh, the third one. And also the fifth one. Uh, but the maze part is actually probably the toughest. Um, not that the enemies are hard or anything, but uh, it is by far the biggest maze. With a lot of... Well, that's nice, because the stars on the screen aren't that easy to see. And these white flakes are uh, nearly impossible to detect as well. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I take it back, this stage is pretty tough. But mainly because my capture device can't really capture those uh, contrasts really well. Look at that! It's the attack of the snowflakes! <laughs> oh well. Well, you can make them out, but it's not very easy. Luckily, there's not too much of this. Wow, you, you can barely see some of those. <laughs> Emperor of Light will speak. Look at the star which can save you. No outside force can extinguish your light. When the storm rages, remain strong and you will be master of all situations. The force is not granted to the weak of heart. Ah, but it is with us, yeah? Nah, we'll see. Okay, so now we have orange balls to dodge. Which uh, is uh, much easier to see, at least. Uh, would like a little uh, green extra orb here. There we go. Yeah, we needed that one. But yeah, this maze is by far the biggest. Has a lot of uh, loose ends. And just giant hallways. Well, you know, length. Because they are always one, uh, one square w wide. So that's kind of a shame. I like uh, maze games where they actually have uh, big hallways, open areas. And I l use like... <laughs> the term like uh, loosely because uh, yeah mazes not my favorite part of games but yeah this is uh, the easy part of this uh, stage and this part is I think called the passage of light which kind of makes sense I guess it is a very light stage and these are all crystals but yeah it's kind of easy to uh, dodge these things Especially compared to the third stage and the fifth one, which will come to uh, next video, this is uh, isn't that bad. This is pretty easy. Probably also easier than the second stage, actually. Uh, that's it. Yeah, not too hard. I guess the hardest part is that uh, wow, and that face is really inviting. The hardest part is that there's not too many green orbs in that uh, last bit. But you don't really need it. And this thing is all banged up. It has been uh, through some battles, I do believe. Landing. And this puzzle is kind of weird. Uh, let's... Uh, let's have him explain things. Questioning central computer. Translation ongoing. Analysis of sublight waves indicates presence future galactic gods. They await birth of new planet to incarnate. Analysis of dark zone. Destruction last cork head before disappearance in the temple. Display same face in top column and cancel it. Okay, so what you want to do is find uh, the quark face on the top bit thingy and then click it and it will remove it from the uh, rows. And then you want to just get rid of them all. It's not that hard, it, it's just kind of a weird puzzle I think. Not that much fun either. Ah, and I... Is this one? No, that's not it. Uh, where's this one? There we go. Ah, uh, and it still has... I, I guess you need to complete uh, um, a number of these things. I don't know how it works exactly. Yeah, and that one doesn't uh, matter anymore. Yeah, so it's just a number of uh, those guys. 
you need to get rid of and then you open it up. Kind of a weird puzzle. And that actually gave me uh, quite a bit of trouble as a kid. I couldn't really figure out what the hell I was supposed to do with that one. But oh well. So uh, this is kind of a futuristic kind of setting. Even though they still have stone here. <laughs> but yeah, it looks all met metally and stuff. And I guess these beings were... Uh, this civilization was more advanced. I don't know. So, okay, let's uh, go explore this place, which is really big. And yeah, these guys uh, are kind of invisible. Uh, from up close, at least. When they are in a the distance, they are like, sort of like an egg pot or something. I don't know, you'll see in a bit. But yeah, look at this. This looks like a modern spacecraft kind of thing. And there are beings of light again. With a hanging man. Hanging by his feet, of course. So let's see how much uh, I can get lost this time. <laughs> it's probably gonna be pretty bad again, because this is the biggest maze after all. It's even bigger than the fifth one, which uh, actually is too big, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh boy, yeah. Could have seen that one coming, but oh well. Yeah, see, it's like he's an egg or something. And up close they are uh, all invisible. Well, great. We've, <laughs> we've gone to the only uh, room we've already been to. That is just genius. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go down here and see uh, what's up. And there's another room. Sweet. That's two down. Three more to go. That's a uh, weird kind of swear. Or where that guy is in there. Hmm. Odd. Very very odd. And, yeah, no clue what that is. Looks like roadkill. <laughs> yeah, no clue what that thing is supposed to be doing. Better not touch anything. Okay, onwards to the next room. Uh, if I can actually point the thing where I want to. This is a big hallway. Get lost. Wow, they actually don't hit me. That's nice. Huh. Wow, where does this go? Just you watch this is a giant dead end because this maze has some of those. And that would uh, that would not be fun. Oh wait, it, it just loops us around. Well, that's just great. <laughs> well, that was a giant waste of time. Get lost, and here it is actually. Oh well, not too bad. Get lost. Great, and this is one of those giant dead ends I was talking about. Isn't that just well? Okay, so uh, no, that 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 takes us around again, so we don't want that. Well, that area is totally useless, and that's a dead end. Okay, great. So we've explored most of the map by now, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> So, uh, it's hard to miss any rooms now. Okay, you fine, you stay there. I'll just go over here and into the room, fill up our lives and uh, go on with things. Oh boy. Yeah, it probably has some more... Uh... Huh. Hope that's not something in the air, because... Uh... Yeah, those guys... Uh... 
being sleeping on a job a bit, I guess. <laughs> Giant telescope. They kind of look humanoid, but uh, then again, those skulls look a bit different. And that one on the right misses a leg, but the one on the uh, left misses two legs, I guess. I guess the right one ate the other one's legs and then decided uh, to eat his own and, you know, people tend to die from that kind of stuff. Nothing wrong with cannibalism, uh, I guess. Well, there is obviously something wrong with that, but, uh, you know, you can survive on that, I guess, but not if you eat yourself. And here's room number four. So that means there's only one left. And now we have a giant brain. Cool. Maybe it's Mother Brain from the uh, Captain N series. <laughs> Although there's no uh, giant lips floating around, luckily. Yeah, that Mother Brain design always... Uh, I don't know, it was kind of creepy. Don't you agree? Giant brain with makeup? That 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 just doesn't look right. <laughs> and then that voice, that was just terrible. I think this is the central room. So let's remember that as we make our way to the final room. Which is not this one. But maybe it's over here. Well, apparently not! <laughs> Uh, let's see, is it over here? Oh no, damn it, I overshoot. There we go. This is just a giant dead end again, isn't it? Yep, it is. I just knew it. Well, then we just go over here and walk into another dead end. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see... Well, this looks promising. This looks very dead-end-ish. <laughs> Get lost! We don't like your kind over here. And another dead-end. Well, that's just wonderful. See how much I hate this maze? This is probably the hardest maze just because it's so full of these damn dead-ends. Okay, so where's the final room? Again, the search. Actually, maybe it's to the uh, to the right here. That would be nice. Let's see. Or is this another dead end? Well, who knows? It is big. Wow. Uh, it actually goes on. Oh boy. <laughs> nope, we've been to that one. Great. And we've been to that one. Well, at least we're finding rooms again. Uh, now I want to go uh, down one more. Uh, one more, not two. And this connects that. Okay, so that's not good either. Okay. But there were some more uh, loose ends here, I think. Yeah. To the right there. See how huge this maze is? This is definitely the biggest one. Although it's still not as big as some other games, like uh, Little Devil. Oh my goodness, the mazes in Little Devil are just terrible. Oh yeah, finally we found it. Nice. In comparison to that game, these mazes are really easy and mild to navigate. Little Devil is a decent game, but the mazes make it sucky. Really. And uh, this room doesn't really look safe to stand on. Having that wall blown out and all. I mean, that vacuum of space looks awfully... Uh, close by. Yeah. Uh, let's get out of here. 
Yeah, I don't know what happened to this place, but uh, on the outside it didn't look too hot either. So, uh, yeah, it has seen some battles. Maybe Cork blew it up. Who knows? Now to actually find the exit. So we should just make our way back, but that of course is easily said and done. Can we? No, we cannot. <laughs> I thought maybe we could uh, have a shortcut. Come on, I want to go to the right there. I think that's the way back. Yeah, it's a giant loop again. Oh well. You can move fairly quickly at least. And I think the exit is over here. Right? Not right? Yeah, it is right. I think. I think this is the exit. Let's see. Yep, it is indeed. And look at that. Yeah, those symbols are filling up quite nicely, and we only have one more uh, temple to go, so we're making good progress. Hey buddy, how's it hanging? Uh, hanging, see? Uh, uh, yeah, I thought not. I, Edda Kareen, make this final plea. Save our planet. May future generations hear me. And never forget. Forget what? The understanding of our known universe is infinite. Our negative thoughts have created worlds which escape our control and enslave us. Remember the number oh of stars which will allow you to open uh, the airlock of the Cork spaceship. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, this is gonna be fun because I cannot see what kind of stars these are. So I have no clue how many stars we have. Nope. Can't make anything out of this. Well, that's gonna be great next time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the number. Oh well. In Bye, buddy. We are leaving the temple of order. Yeah. Uh, oh well. I wonder if they have good uh, reception with that uh, antenna on the on top there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the final number of the password now, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Temple. We'll see next time when we uh, come back and take on the final temple of the game and end the game actually. So join me then uh, guys and see ya later. Bye bye.